Got my undergraduate degree from Springfield College in Applied Exercise Science. Went on to the University of Iowa where I assisted with men's and women's basketball as an intern. Uh, from there I was an assistant director of strength and conditioning at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Uh, after that went and trained uh, special operations soldiers for the U.S. Special Operations Command at Fort Bragg. From there, I went on to take a director of strength and conditioning position at the University of Mary Washington in Fredericksburg, Virginia, which led me to the current position I have now as assistant AD for athletic performance here at Stony Brook. Grew up here on Long Island, uh, played sports here on Long Island, so really, really proud to be here and call Stony Brook home. Our athletic performance mission, essentially, we want to uh, piggyback the department mission, which is to positively transform the life of each student athlete. And I think what better place to do that in a place where you'll physically transform your body, mentally get stronger. And I really feel like we provide a first class experience here in Dubin for our student athletes. We have three major goals for our department. Uh, number one is to reduce the likelihood of injury. And for us, that's extremely important. We want to create strong and resilient athletes that can compete day in and day out across the entire season and across their four-year career. Number two is to, is to improve athletic performance. And I think that can mean a number of different things for, for every team on campus. Uh, for a soccer player, that may mean improving their conditioning. Uh, for a football player, that may mean putting a little bit extra muscle mass on their frame so they can handle uh, a competitive season. Uh, for a basketball player, that might be, mean improving their vertical jump. Uh, so we look at each team uh, globally, some of the trends that happen with each sport, and then individually to create a pro player profile for each individual athlete so we can maximize uh, their performance as a whole. And number three is improve the ability to handle stress and adverse conditions. And that's really a fancy term for mental toughness, but we feel that through competitions, through confidence, which I feel is the most transferable quality onto the field, onto the court from the weight room, athletes will have more success uh, on the field or court. Our athletic performance staff consists of four full-time coaches, myself, G.C. Airy, Vincent Cagliostro, and Patrick Cummings. Additionally, we have two certified graduate assistants, a certified coaching assistant, and multiple volunteers and interns. All of our full-time staff have a master's degree, and every staff member is nationally certified through the National Strength and Conditioning Association. So the off-season is obviously a really, really important time for us. Uh, that's when athletes are going to get bigger, stronger, and faster in this facility. We're doing everything from speed work to strength work to conditioning. Uh, that's when we're doing our team competitions and we instill our culture inside the weight room. Uh, that's our time. We're really going to, that's, that's where we make our money as athletic performance coaches. We're going to get these athletes stronger and faster, and they're going to be more prepared for their sport when they're done with the offseason. In season phase, you can make an argument is equal to or more important than the offseason. We want our athletes to be able to compete with the same strength, power, and intensity at the end of the year as they do in the beginning of the year. So that's a huge priority for us. Obviously, injury prevention during that time of year is important, and we want to maintain all of the strength and power that we can so we can compete at the highest level when it matters the most, and that's in conference championships and NCAA tournaments. Uh, I believe there are two main things that we do as a staff that really separate us as an athletic performance department. Number one is our individual attention uh, to each athlete in a large group setting. Uh, we create a player profile for each team and each athlete uh, that tests everything from uh, performance measures like speed, strength, and power uh, to movement screening and then we address that with corrective exercises and our overtime cards which are used to put athletes in the best situation possible to individually get better in the long run to help their team get better. Uh, the second thing I think we do outstanding is our attention to performance nutrition and that's an area that we've really spent a lot of time on this year. This January we added our fueling station which has been outstanding for our student athletes. We provide healthy nutrient dense snacks every single day for free for our student athletes. Uh, everything from peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Greek yogurts, trail mix, protein cookies, protein cereal on a daily basis our athletes have access to and a common theme I heard is athletes struggle with nutrient timing. On your way to class there's no time to eat. On your way to the dining hall uh, the, the line's too big you didn't have time before class. We're able to provide something for our athletes that keeps them strong, keeps them healthy throughout the course of the season. In addition to our fueling station we brought on Chris Algieri as a performance nutrition coach on our staff. Chris is a two-sport world champion in kickboxing and boxing. Uh, he's got his master's degree in clinical nutrition. Uh, additionally, he's certified through the ISSN in sports nutrition. He's been a tremendous mentor to our student athletes in regards to proper fueling, hydration, and putting the right things in their body as they go through the entire year in season and off season. He does individual meetings with athletes that have specific goals 
and he meets with every single team, giving presentations and educational, educational material uh, to each group specific to their sport. Uh, he's been a huge asset for us, and the combination of these two things have really helped our athletes. I think a culture of competition is, is one of the most important pieces you'll have in an athletic performance program. Uh, the addition of our record board is going to be huge. I want athletes. I want athletes to compete in everything they do, but I also want them to compete throughout the entire department. Uh, so to see their name up on the board, it gives them a little bit of incentive to not only compete with themselves, but to compete you know, with, a, with a lacrosse player, with a baseball player, or a basketball player, uh, with a track and field athlete. So I think that's really, really important for us. Uh, I think the bell is an addition. I think that gets kids excited, gets athletes uh, pumped up for when they're doing testing, to set PRs, it creates an energy in the room. And I think that's the big thing. I think something I talk to my coaches about, something that I express all the time, we control the temperature of the room in here, we control the atmosphere. So I think if we come in every single day with that same tempo, same energy, same excitement for what we do as coaches every single day, the athletes feed off that and that's the environment I want to see in here. Overall, I think you know, one of the most important pieces to this for us is, you know, we view this as a four or five year process for each student athlete. And I think one of the main priorities for us is that every athlete walks out of here reaching his or her genetic potential. So every bit of speed, every bit of strength, uh, every bit of conditioning that they have, uh, we want to bring that out of them before they leave Stony Brook.